Hi everyone, hi, hello, welcome back to Sammy Vostok and today is shopping center day or shopping mall, whatever you, you would like to call it. So this is the area that we're going to be working on, which is kind of in the more the more rural areas of the whole city, which is eventually by the end of this episode and the next episode, it's going to develop into something much, much more, something more really just it's just going on everything's going on so we're going to be building a huge shopping center here now we have the existing train station here which i plopped uh off camera um which is going to be a real beneficial factor for this whole area and for this whole area to get going and um yeah why don't we just get into the building okay so this is the whole area and i've already flattened it out so the main area for this whole shopping center is going to be in front of the train station and in between the shopping center. Now the shopping center, this building here, it's not actually a shopping center, it's actually a building from the Industries DLC, but I'll cover that a little bit later and how I got that to work. It's going to be the main one and I'm going to add in a few other Russian style buildings and also a few other warehouse uh, places that you might be familiar with and some also, also some McDonald's and like I don't know some other burger places like that and The plan is to add in a lot of parking spaces all the way around So for this part over here, I wanted to add in some kind of like just like warehouse type areas where trucks can come in and out but I'll, I'll cover that a little bit more towards the end and the people they can actually drive all the way around the whole shopping center and I'm not just going to add in one direct road going in so it's not going to be just this road I'm going to add in another road as well just to help with the flow of traffic and add a bit of variety for the cars to get in and of course since there's going to be an increase of traffic in here I thought it was best to add in a roundabout there because there's already a lot of trucks going along that road right there because of the forestry and the big industrial area to the left there so definitely a roundabout is really beneficial there and that's the other road that I wanted to add in so you never really have just one one road going into a shopping center right especially for the really really big ones now this one I mean it is more of a rural area I plan on doing another one in the city that probably won't be like this with all of the like, car parks and things like that but definitely there's going to be more throughout the city big industrial not industrial buildings but big warehouse type shopping places that I'm gonna dot throughout the city so that's something to look forward to and probably some of them will be repeated like the ones that I put here, I'll also put them in the city as well. But I do have a whole lot of other ones. Now, some of the buildings that I use here today in this episode, yes, they're in my mods and asset list. Especially like this one here, the Walmart. So I put that in there for you Americans. Um, I don't think we have that here in Australia. Maybe, maybe in Sydney or Melbourne, but definitely nowhere else. I've never seen that anywhere at all um, and I thought it looked good connecting the actual Walmart to the shopping center area to make it look even like bigger and this these few buildings right here uh, on the corner this is going to be like the main kind of I guess it's the main part of the shopping center because whenever you go to a shopping center there is kind of you might not always notice but there's always one main entrance that has it looks very grand it looks really nice so for, this is kind of that part right here and you notice I put in some of these nice curved buildings right there to just just to really make the area look a lot more nicer and um yeah I just followed that along as well and then eventually I think I, I think it's now I add in like a big office building just to give it a bit of bit of depth so it looks a lot better once I add that in eventually eventually that oh here we go yeah this one right here, once I add that in, that one right there, just drag it into place. Looks, it looks a lot better, just giving that depth. Um, and it also makes it, like the, the surrounding area, I want to add in like some um, apartment buildings and things like that. Some of them will be a bit higher as well. So I thought it's good to have a little bit of height in the shopping center. Um, and then all of the residential aspects of this area, that will be in the next episode in case you're wondering about that. Now, this is McDonald's, so I thought of course I have to have McDonald's in the area, right? Um, so there's this one, um, and of course I put in the McDonald's sign. There's also another one that I added up in the main area. And then this one here is a, just another, I don't know what it is, in and out shop, some kind of burger shop, I don't think we have that here. Um, and then that is Burger King. And in Australia, we it's actually not called Burger King, um, it's called Hungry Jacks here, in case anyone didn't know that because of the licensing reasons or something like that. And yeah, so I'm just really gliding through all of this construction. I mean, the construction wasn't that hard to do. It's just really popping down some buildings and then some um, car, like, uh, what's it called? <laughs> 
parking spaces oh my god don't you just hate when you forget the word um so in case you don't know how to do the parking lots like this you basically just drag it out like that you have all the different sizes um you, you can just move it into place with the move it mod now i am quite limited with space so maybe i should have put some double well, triple level parking spots but i don't know it just didn't i just never got around to it so there's going to be a few more parking spots and then to actually make them work, and just in case you guys, some of you don't know, you have to place down the actual parking spots themselves. So if you leave it like that, they're not really going to park. I don't, I don't think they do anyway. Um, so you have to place down all of the parks individually. And actually, I really love doing that. I think it's really fun. And something is kind of like, it's like therapeutic when you add it down of, of the parking spots and then especially like all of the greenery in between the parking lots I don't know I just find that so just so nice I don't know I guess I'm weird but um, definitely they have a really good view from that level because it is up quite high I think I show it towards the end because you can see like right out towards the city you can see right out into the mountains you can actually see the Sami Vostok um, like the Hollywood sign up in the mountains as well so I think that's it so why don't we just skip to the end and give you guys a closer look at everything that's going on and here it is everyone oh I think it looks really really good I I, I I just think it's a really good position to fit it in because if we just zoom out and just show you guys like it's kind of cut off so um, we have all of the industrial areas we have a lot of tree barriers in between we have the big forestry area up there and um, yeah, I really, I, I'm really enjoying the location of this. So in the next episode, I actually want to fill in uh, all of this empty green space here, and also in this space here, and along this shoreline as well. And you'll notice that I added in this bridge that goes over the top. So that's going to be a pedestrian bridge, basically just to connect up this side to this side, because I don't want to put a road connection over here, just because it would not fit in with this area. Um, also, just quickly, while I remember, I added in this bridge, and she is pretty. She good. She looked good. Now, it's a red one because this one is also red, so keeping it in with the theme, and I like it. Now, what is this one called? Can I click on it? There it is, just in case. If anyone wants to download this, that's the name of it. There you go. Now, I just want to show you guys a few things. So, this building here is actually from the New Industries DLC. It is the electronics factory, so if you want that, it's in here somewhere. Uh, it's one of the, I don't know, it's in there somewhere. But I converted it into an actual shopping center. And if I click on it, electronics factory, so actually I might rename that to shopping, oh, I can't even spell, shopping center. Now I added in 621 workers because this is quite a big building. If we look at it down here, it's got three different levels, potentially four, no, I think three. Um, it's huge, it, uh, it's, it's really big. So 600, I don't know if that's realistic or not, but I wanted a huge amount of people to be here. So the way that I converted it from the industrial building to an actual commercial building is through this one down here the ploppable rico now i'm aware that for some people uh this mod doesn't work anymore but for me fortunately it still works and i don't get any errors or anything so if this is still working for you all you have to do is go into here click on settings now find what you want so i'm just going to show you guys go a little, oops i see i can't even spell elec Cool. so it's this one here but let's say the car factory all right so all you have to do is click on the building that you want to convert and then click on add local there we go which then enables Rico and then you can just choose whatever you want okay and if I just show you guys a few of these specialty buildings so we have this guy down here which is Burger King so he's got like a drive-through actually I think it goes this way like that so it's backwards to how I want it and then we have a few office buildings, a few commercial buildings. We have McDonald's here with a nice drive through going through right there. A nice big McDonald's sign. Of course, you've got to have that and it sticks out really good. And then if we go up here to this part here, we have another McDonald's. And I really like this McDonald's because look at it. Look at the shape of it. It looks really cool. And then if we go in here, like I just feel like all of this detail looks so cool. You can go through here. It's like got the little drive through. It's like, whoop, oh, too far. But yeah, anyway, look at it. It looks so good. And then, if I just exit first person, there we go. So this is like 
this is like the main section of the whole area because obviously we've got the train station here and then we've got the entrance to this large building right here um, so it's just got a few food, food trucks we've got the Lennon statue of course um, we've got an in and out shop and then just a few other little shops right there um, yeah it looks good I like the food trucks I always love my food trucks they look so good and then over here I just put in a few of these garages because I thought it would look good to have like an area where trucks can drive in they can just drive out and like deliver stuff and I put it over here just because it's more of the quieter side as well and I was like should I put a direct road to out here so I'm yet to I'm not sure yet but we'll just we'll see how it goes because um, if they go this way it's obviously going to disrupt the train line it's also going to put a traffic light there as well so we'll see how it goes but for now the traffic up here isn't too bad and um, yeah it looks good so if you want to make these actual parking lots you have to go into oh uh, uh, yeah it's this one right here so that's all in my mods and asset list and they actually all do work so cars will spawn up on there by themselves so I also added in this one here so it's just a lot of commercial buildings these ones along here and then I put this I think it's an office building is that an office no commercial but I just like because it I like how it looks because it's like it's a bit bigger and it kind of makes that grand entrance when you drive up because there's always like that grand entrance when you come to a shopping center we have these guys over here which is a more Russian-y style we come over this side which it's also kind of Russian-y as well actually that, that is Russian and then we have this guy here and then for the Americans <laughs> this guy with another McDonald's of course so how many McDonald's is that one two three so lots of burger places and then just a few more parking spots over here so it looks good I like it so it's it's pretty big it's, re it's actually really really big um, probably should have put in some more parking spaces maybe double level parking but you know what they don't even fill this up but hopefully they do I was thinking maybe I'll install the rush hour mod or I think is that what it's called you guys know you, you guys know what I mean anyway the rush hour one and um, just get it like really alive and going and just make it look really interesting and I want to see like all the traffic like rush up through here but I think for now a lot of them are using this train line so let's have a look 81 hmm well I there, there are a lot of them that use it actually I've been watching it and I was watching like does this clock move it doesn't unfortunately um, oh yeah, if you want this train it is called the Thomas Chavin Central Station and it's from Central Finland if you want that and I think that's generally it so I think in the next episode like I said we'll just go into this episode uh, this part here because this area has almost 2,000 workers so once we fill it in there's gonna be over 2,000 workers and we still have a bit of a gap it's slowly filling up but I think it'll be good to put in a few more residential areas here because there are none population zero and uh, yeah it'll look good so stay tuned for that and hopefully that won't be out too much longer should be before Christmas I think so yeah what do you guys think of this I I think it looks really really good like I put in a lot of vegetation um, we've got the different types of walls so this one I've been doing throughout the city so it's like keeping in with the theme lots of vegetation lots of I, I like the dirty big main roads as well and I put this road over here just as like a bit of a slip road as well instead of making them all go over through here as well so I think for now I'm just going to end the video there and I'll be back very soon with the next part. So thank you guys for watching and oh those cars are doing something weird there. Okay, oh well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon.